This is an example of uh, how we totally remake our environments. I mean, this this uh, set was for a uh, um, a luncheonette, but uh, of course we couldn't couldn't find one on location. And uh, what we did was design everything from scratch: the tables, the uh, the uh, uh, the, sep the partitions separating the tables, the chairs, uh, the paintings were by Martin Kreloff. They fit in very well with the sort of super graphic. Uh, uh, overdose kind of uh, feeling about this thing. It's very high key, um, um, and it's a wonderful kind of environment for a late night rendezvous of uh, adventurous people. Uh, over here are a couple of paintings by a local artist named Rick Garcia, uh, who has done some wonderful things for us, uh, namely a wonderful mural down by the, uh, the uh, Venetia. And his work has a kind of a South Florida surrealism, which I find very, very simpatico with uh, what we do on Miami Vice. These heads, by the way, are from a, uh, a Santeria ceremony that we did uh, involving a, uh, a sh an episode where Castillo had to go into a, a secret ceremony and, and uh, undergo some kind of initiation. And those were placed in the Vizcaya secret garden, the secret uh, 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 coral garden. This wall here was an idea that uh, uh, I had for giving people a sort of a sense of the, the paperwork that's generated. This is the evidence of the crime, so to speak, uh, for uh, that goes into the look of the show. Uh, what you have here are uh, our location uh, uh, folders showing panoramic shots of, uh, of a disco. There's a, a key uh, in the Florida Keys. Um, original artwork of the boat. Storyboards of a, of, a, of a race. There's a ground plan.
all sorts of souvenir. Those are the drawings from um, from Little Miss Dangerous. Here's a sketch that uh, Rick Garcia did for uh, the uh, uh, the mural down near Venetia, and of course, painter's pants. Uh, this is the the uh, schedule. This is the sort of the the marching plan for for the weekly uh, 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 production of Miami Vice. And uh, again, it just gives an idea of uh, of the tremendous amount of planning and uh, and um, and advanced creative work that has to go into to making uh, the look of the show. couple of our famous explosions here. These are probably the most difficult and dangerous things that we do on Miami Vice. J.B. Jones is, a, is an expert for that. We, of course, build this shack and, uh, and uh, pack it with gasoline and sawdust, and it's really a thrilling sight. Over here we have a, uh, a sort of a sleazy apartment building. Uh, a, dr a, a, a drug crime is about to take place, and I wanted to give you the, the sort of feeling that we have on the set. Uh, the, the, the black satiny texture is kind of seductive and erotic, and, and the, the kinky clothes. The wallpaper is, is made by our, our scenic art department, especially. A weird treatment on the windows, uh, weapons. I mean, it's, it's a very charged kind of environment, uh, and one that I, I think makes a good background for, uh, for you know, a lot of, a lot of suspense. This is a crazy uh, uh, bar that we did for one of South Florida's Deco hotels. Ted Nugent uh, put his elbow up and had a drink. As you can see, it's been attacked by our, our creative um, uh, uh, spray paint squad. Um, this work here is by Veronica Rydell. Uh, these were collages that uh, we did for a character that uh, that was a femme fatale in the uh, in the movie uh, Prodigal Son the 2 hour movie Prodigal Son and uh, we wanted to uh, create a, a bizarre effect when he woke up in her apartment uh, the morning after the first night and uh, she was setting up her show and the the uh, we sh the shot was his point of view as these bizarre images were were, were carried by him uh, by the gallery assistants and of course they 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 <laughs> set a wonderful tone for his relationship with her
behind you here, or behind me here, pardon me, is uh, is something that hasn't been photographed in our show, but really uh, sums up the essence of what Miami Vice is all about, and that's of course um, the the dangers and the uh, uh, the extreme dangers because of the temptations of of drug addiction, and of course this is our little art piece. Uh, that that is meant to provoke a little thought about uh, first of all the seductiveness of addiction, but also the very surreal and dangerous quality of addiction. And of course, that's what Miami Vice is about: glamorous venality. Over here, uh, we have, of course, our, um, our, our the mock-ups of our stars. I mean, I can't say <laughs> that this uh, that they deliver the way Don and Philip do, but it's an example of uh, of the design, uh, the famous look that uh, that people are talking about, uh, the unstructured um, rayon, baggy, loose-fitting, kind of kind of sexy on a muscular guy like Don. Um, Tubs, you know, the tailored, elegant, um, beautiful fabrics, always a tie, New York slick. And behind a uh, just a strange backdrop that we that we used at a uh, voodoo ceremony this time. Of course, the show wouldn't be complete without uh, slices of of the actual um, uh, film, you know, slices of the show as you see it on television. And I think that uh, that this certainly is a is a wonderful opportunity for people to freeze some of the, the great moments that we've had uh, on the show. And uh, I think if you peruse these, uh, one thing is clear. This, is, this doesn't look like the work of a television show. It looks like the work of a major motion picture. And uh, I, I think that's what people are, are so excited about. And that's why the show is, uh, is so popular in America, that every week they can see um, you know, such great production value. This was a wonderful. Um, I might have to jump around a little bit. We'll get to it a little bit later on. This is a wonderful scene from Little Miss Dangerous. This Fiona Flanagan in a, a live sex act that we did as an interior for the Warsaw Ballroom. We have a, a wonderful exterior shot of it further down the line. Um, here is um, James Remar up on a pool table just before he loses his cool in a in a disco. Uh, the great sort of playful environment. I think rivals anything you see in New York. Of course, here it's uh, it's courtesy of Miami Vice. Um, art direction on the face here. This is uh, Olivia Brown. Uh Um, uh, dressing up as a as a hooker, of course, undercover, uh, in a very uh, moving show that she did about a, a policeman who has to kill someone who was trying to kill her. This was uh, um, Olivia's apartment. Uh, again, the evils of drug addiction. This is op art, um, an op art freak out here as uh, as Crockett's girlfriend. Has. Uh, uh, just uh, burst a bag that she swallowed filled with cocaine and she's in her bathroom. Uh, terrible, terrible experience. Uh, Crockett and Tubbs on the spot here. This was a wonderful uh, banquet that we did. Uh, inside a freighter, a Colombian pirate dresses up his, his freighter like, a, uh, like um, uh, his interp interpretation of Versailles. It was really rich. James Remar's office, back in his nightclub. Uh, 
this was a wonderful uh, um, opening here. Uh, this was a. Um, I got this idea by flying over the uh, the limestone pits west of the airport, and uh, we decided to create that wonderful scene with Ted Nugent and uh, burying the Porsche right there in the limestone pits. Of course, one of our great explosions. This is one of the one one of the uh, the South South Beach uh, Deco hotels, the Victor, dressed up as a bordello. Of course, this piece, uh, more drug dealer art. This was a very spectacular uh, scene here. This was the interior of the Voodoo Church, which was actually the Paris Theater in a show called uh, Tale of the Goat. We cut down a dead tree and built this wonderful sculpture right inside. Of course, the dynamic team at the uh, and the strategy room there. High fall off a off a ship in the harbor. Here's our uh, courthouse, which had a lot of people talking, based on uh, Mayan temples in uh, Guatemala. I thought it was a, a very apt uh, way to, to explain in architectural terms a, a judicial system as it's interpreted by Miami Vice, a place where it's not always easy to get justice done, where it's uh, a multifaceted and confusing arena. One of our bars on stage. This is a wonderful shot that uh, Milena took of, of uh, Phil Collins' set in Phil the, Phil the Shill. And uh, this consists of furniture that I pulled together uh, to arrange, uh, you know, in, in a composition that would be very playful and, uh, and amusing. And this certainly is. Uh, famous drug bust with yours truly. Actually, it wasn't drugs this time. It was NutraSweet. with uh, Moby Griffin, our Marine coordinator, and Michael Talbot, John Zito, John Deal, pardon me. This was a bed that I designed for, um, for again, for Phil, the, the Phil Collins uh, uh, show, Phil the Shill. Wonderful uh, extravaganza there. Of course, our boat. And here is Sex World, the, uh, the uh, um, exterior of the, um, uh, the show ha showroom that I uh, described earlier. And uh, Rick Garcia's mural, Crockett and Tubbs over here. Tubbs behind a, uh, uh, Tubbs in the back room of a disco. Trudy's apartment, and of course here's the Voodoo Church again. And our stars John Deal, Olivia Brown, and Sandra Santiago. And of course, this is the uh, this is the uh, piece that you saw in the show in the in the shot from the show. A piece that we had to create on very short demand because uh, it was called for uh, in about 24 hours notice. But uh, I think we created something rather spectacular and certainly something that uh, that is uh, that has a graphic effect on on the screen. And that's really what uh, the art direction is about more than anything else is is uh, using the the TV screen in a very graphic way. Uh, art direction is not just a matter of backgrounds. It's a matter of of uh, uh, treating the screen um, uh, in a graphic way. Sorry to repeat, but that's that's the way it is.